We got Neon little ugly ass again. He's finally done. <laughs> it's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the last time we caught up with IRL streamer Neon, his life was crumbling before his very eyes. As he had lost his clout-wielding girlfriend, most of his streamer friends, and even his bodyguard. Not to mention he was losing viewers by the day, and in general not doing very well mentally. Someone even pulled up on him during a stream and mentioned my videos. You know who uh, Jamar is? talking about you on YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Since the breakup, we had not heard much from our Indian friend, but it was clear that he was getting more and more desperate, getting into beef with his new security guard. He Indian? I didn't even know that. I thought he was one of them, you know how them do bad guys look. They, they all look the same to me. But he a $5 Indian. You're not the real Indian. The real Indians is indigenous and aboriginal to the land. Ain't no way I'm Indian and he Indian. You not the indigo child. You know, I ain't even gonna get, let's continue. Lord. Look at he me. ain't Indian. Uh, bro, Follow not, me. Bro, who are you talking to, bro? What the fuck out of here, bro? The f who the f are you talking to, bro? I pay these motherfuckers, bro. What? Just chill. And playing with a lion out in Dubai for clout. Oh yeah, bite, 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 bite. He's biting, he's biting. Yeah, them, I thought he was one of them. To me, he's still one of them. I don't care what you talking about. I know the real Indians is neuromelanated beings. He's by me. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Get him off, get him off, get him off. Now, eventually, Neon would get back with his OF girlfriend, much to the dismay of his friends. Let's see what Neon's doing right now, okay? He's saying he's live in the Philippines. Let's see. Let's, let's catch up on my bro real quick. Okay. What do you mean? Of course I can. You cannot backflip. You're so now. Okay. I'm guessing the two of them must have realized that their relationship is symbiotic to the core. They need each other to survive in this content game. Though I will say no one really cared when they got back together. Uh, what I was gonna say is, I would actually put my life on the line for you. You almost got arrested for me. I'll never forget that. Oh yeah. That's true. No criminal record here, chat. But now need. You put your life on a line four and a bullet bounce off a light pole and ricochet and hit you right in your eyeball. You just gonna be a dead ass five dollar Indian. And she gonna be somewhere else sucking another five dollar Indian. She gonna be somewhere sucking dildos. Who is his dad? I don't know you personally. And I don't mean speak on people's peoples, but yours must be spoken on because what you display. They fail at their job, but if you the low bearing fruit that fall, that fail from the same apple tree by default, your your dad one of those as well. Not masculine, not a man. Don't have not one. I roll on his ass in a second. Treat him like a, like it's a GTA miss, mission. GTA San Andreas in particular, when CJ got to catch up with the pimp, just take his ass out the car and get rid of him. It's less than five seconds. One of those a drop off. They ain't even gonna put up no kind of fight of resistance. But let's continue. That's crazy. Don't do that. If you're watching this, don't be a him. Neon has found himself with more problems than just losing relevance, as he has allegedly been detained overseas in Dubai while streaming. As most of you probably know by now, Dubai is largely known as a no-nonsense place where you do not want to find yourself in trouble with the powers that be. Dubai definitely with the nonsense. They just hide it. They the ones that fly the Instagram influence model thoughts out. They the ones that got the snort the highest of cocaine to where it don't quench their thirst anymore. So they got to revert to sporadic shit. Things that's sporadic ain't even a word, but boy, George, Transformers, kids, Transformers, Decepticons, midgets, um, bestiality, everything. Because whatever is normal, they done had the best quality well, not quality and like characteristics and how they carry themselves but visually aesthetically females they because they got the money they got the money to do so due to the spoils of war and they get the benefit off of it off of it and get richer and richer but they done everything you dream of to that don't get them off anymore they got to do shit that'll make your head pop 
It looked beautiful when you look at it. It looked like Walt Disney. But behind it, when you really look, there's some things going on behind closed doors. Just know that. It's really like that. That's a reason why they underwater over there right now as well. Mother Earth had... It's Mother Earth against motherfuckers. She had enough of you. And with your all white cloaks and all, it's going to be upon a time. We're going to have Kisame Hoshigaki out here. going to do the, a, a big ass water vortex. It's going to wipe you all up. Because y'all should have been left the planet. What is you here for? No nonsense. They really, they nonsense. What the fuck? No nonsense. They don't want you doing nonsense, but they doing it. And they, they own the police force and all that other stuff. They can't get in trouble. They the ones put them in place to enforce their laws. No nonsense. All right, let's continue. So some are now wondering if this could be the end of Neon and his OF girlfriend altogether. Now, even before he got detained, Neon was ironically doing prison streams, which I think is some of the lamest content to come out of this new generation of streamers, where they essentially glorify or kind of poke fun at the prison experience. And that's exactly what Neon does here as I guess the script. Now, I don't think Kai took it that far to look at it from that perspective. You can perceive it that way and it's valid. You, you, you valid for that, but you want to look at it in that way. But same for Neon. Free Neon. I feel like he should go to some kind of boot camp. Not that bullshit when he was like, it was terrible. It's people paying to go to the, the, become masculine. Either you are or you aren't. We're going to know you're acting. We're going to kick your ass. Like, it's no point of, nah. But yeah. Put his ass in boot camp or something. He ain't going to do good in, in, in prison. He ain't going to do good in jail. It's was for him to get grapes in the cell Nobody by this weird looking motherfucker. This is like an actual set. No, 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 Do not. Look at this hat. Yeah, dude. Should we leave them alone? Yeah, bro, I think we should all leave. All right, bro, enjoy, okay? Bro, no, 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 Bro, this fucking kid. Get off me, you fucking lunatic. I mean, if this does not scream desperation for a viral clip, I don't know what does. You wanna take your butt? Yeah. You wanna take your butt? He's never, he's never had, he's never had that kind of fun before. So yeah, just pretty pathetic cloud chasing behavior from Neon right there. Here, Neon talked. Never mind. Keep him in there. About the potential of streaming with Sneeko once again. Who's your like boy from the streaming game? Like, would you say Sneeko is like your actual boy, like your best friend? Uh, Sneeko. Yeah. I don't really talk to him that much. I don't really have friends, bro. No? Nah. Is that sad or no? You don't care? I don't give a f bro. It's just me, man. It's all about the bag. Me, me, you have siblings? Me, my few boys, and then my, my girl, bro. What? So he was obviously in a pretty bad place right here, and he was feeling like it was him and his girl versus the world. And here we're gonna see why that relationship is not a good place for him to hang his hat on. I mean, we already saw with the situation where Vitaly showed up to that massive fan meetup with enlarged printed out photos of Neon's girlfriend spreading her cheeks and doing all kinds of degenerate- I didn't even know that bitch was spreading her buns. <laughs> things. If y'all remember, she would in turn spit in his face. If your bitch would have spit on me, I'm about to DDT her ass. And I don't give a damn if your security guard right there. I'm finna hit him with the quickest. Get rid of him. Finna uninstall, uninstall him. I'm sending him back. You're gonna, you're gonna have to collect his reboot card. If you think a, a thought finna spit on me, I ain't even gotta say that. My power level is over level nine thousand. My my Taurus, my biofield, the flower of life. You, I'm telling you, it's gonna be an invisible like circle, and it's gonna fall. It wouldn't even touch me. You would have picked up my, he ain't the one. I'm not the one. The fuck is wrong with Vitaly? It's Vitaly and shit. Let's continue, Face. man. Nothing like keeping it classy. Well, this guy pulled up on them in Dubai and pretty much did the same thing. Oh, oh but you, had... Fuzi, and uh, you won't like it, but Vitaly. Oh, shit. Anyways, listen. To the Undertaker at that moment. Yeah, sure, go ahead. I got Adoxy, A-D-O-X-Y, okay. Okay, we can't, we can't cut. What's up, fan, right? What the? Wow. Show it. And you could tell once this kid mentioned Vitaly, she kind of got on guard. I think she knew what time it was. Who's? <laughs> what? Oh, hell no. 
Weird ass kid, chat, bro. Let's go. Chat. Come on, guys. YouTube. That's the first thing a thought say. If you ever hear a bitch call you weird, that bitch weird. How are you spreading your, your asshole for some buccaronis and somebody weird for showing the picture? Bitch, ain't nothing weirder than you. You the one that was caught in the act. Remember that, guys. If you ever hear weird ass nigga, you know what they say. If you ever hear a bitch say that, nine times out of ten, her room dirty and some old shit. She a thought. She a wet wipe asshole. She a dry cloth towel asshole. Like, for real. That'd be the first thing they revert to, default settings. <laughs> weird. That's the first thing they do. Bitch, ain't nothing weirder than you. Video, let's go. Makai, let's go. Don't film that kid, bro. Don't film that kid, bro. And I love how they say, oh, it's a weird ass kid. I can't believe he's showing up in public to show me things that I posted onto the internet. I guess I almost just feel like if you're going to expose yourself to the world in that way, it's almost like you might as well. I didn't even know the context of that. I didn't know she was online spreading her ass like Nutella. Neon, you will ill. You stay in jail. I don't wish jail. I ain't even one of them kind of niggas. If, if it's fuck you, fuck you. Go to jail forever. You know how you got guys out there, older school type dudes, like, oh, I don't wish that on my worst. You a goddamn lie. Fuck you and them kids, nigga. If it's a... If, that's how I get down. Tupac ain't the most disrespectful, isn't me? I'm telling you, it's no limiters on me. I'm like cold without the limiters from Baruto. There's no limiters on me. I'm on everything, bitch. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking your ass down with biology and some old shit. I'm telling you, it ain't no... It's, it's infinite. If we into it, your kids into it, every spawn from you into it. Your ancestors into it. Everything. I ain't even know that. He got the nerve to cuff her. He ain't Indian. He a five dollar Indian, cause I'm a real Indian. My great grandma is full fledged Cherokee. Nigga, we neuro melanated. I don't need suntan lotion. I will never have no problems with low fertility rates. I don't have that thing when your genealogy is directly connected to your psychological state and you doing animalistic like things because you got a bunch of different animal species that consist of your genetic complex. I ain't one of those, bro. I'm God's man. I ain't regular men. I ain't them. So we'll take the Adam 22 route and just lean completely into the humiliation arc. And now here's the payoff clip where they actually get detained by the authorities over in Dubai. Apparently they have pretty strict rules out there around filming even if not that strict. They fly in the Instagram influence model thoughts out and they letting their camels get some camels hump. What the fuck is you talking about strict? Yeah, when it comes to people, tourists. But they doing everything underneath the sun and above the motherfucking moon. Want to hear that? You just think it's all white with their all white garments and they love turban and everything. It's, man, they taking number twos on bitches and some old shit. How much shit did in a bucket? Them type, they sound just like that. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Y'all over there letting, y'all over there shitting in buckets and making the females drink your estrogen, but you can't smoke marijuana over there. So, man, I backhand the fuck out of a, a Dubai. YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. I help make episodes for South Park and Caillou. Ain't nowhere I cannot not go. I can go. What the fuck? I'm indigenous, aboriginal to the land. They can't begin to, they ain't got no biological identification to the planet. What the fuck? in public and they must have not liked some things that neon was doing on his stream put the camera down down oh, okay. it's off. all cameras are off i just want to let you know we're trying to work with you guys i'm really sorry yeah nothing like starting out the interaction with the police with a blatant lie if we can't film it it's a problem we can we can just leave if that's a but the people, the people, uh, the guest services said we're okay. If it's not okay, we can leave. We don't want problems. Go to the office and after that, after you take it. Okay. Give me all let's... your ID. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I'm so sorry, sir. So I understand that um, it's not official, right? We going to jail? We going to jail?
Hmm. Now you guys know, at this moment, their hearts sank all the way down to their stomachs. I feel like we've seen this a lot over the last year, streamers getting detained in other countries. And the thing They're is, they keep like doing it in some of the shit. strictest ones. Where are we going? To the office, they said. Bro. But we went to guest services, that's on. where... Okay, guest services is where we got permission, ma'am. I want to let you know. So anyone who could clear this up is going to be in guest services as well. Oh, there's a Ripley's Believe It or Not. <laughs> you see them dressed like that? They some of the most nastiest motherfuckers that ever graced earth with their presence. It's not much of a gift, but it is what it is. Give us anything. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe Neon didn't think he was getting in trouble. He doesn't seem that shook. That's the they camera. They said they were going to send, they took a picture of my passport. <laughs> and they said huh? they would send it to the WhatsApp group chat. Close, close, close. Close it. Close it. Close it. Close it. Close it. Put it down, just put it down, bro. Put it down. What are you... Yeah, I mean, the authorities aren't stupid. They're wondering why the f*** he's still filming. And that was apparently the last clip that would surface of Neon for the last week. Now, a couple days after that clip went viral, we started seeing headlines like this. Break in, Kickstream and Neon has been sentenced to one year in prison in Dubai. But the community notes comes through and is saying that's all a bunch of bullshit. Here, the OF girlfriend comes through with an update where she says, I cannot speak on anything, but when I can, you guys will be the first to know. Creamstar also says it's a lie. Earlier today, we uh, put out a story saying that it is not true that Neon has been sentenced to a year in jail because that story is going viral. Other people are picking up. So we're trying to shut it down now because we worked the story and it literally is not true. We have confirmation that Neon 100% was not sentenced to a year in jail. And the backlash from us correcting the record is insane. Well, you guys heard it right there. Cream star, what he called you. You look like you eat frosted mini wheats with, with, with the cow's milk. You so unfathomably cringy that the reaction video I had up of you, you was the, that was the only video of your presence on my channel. With the, the Zeus and the, and a, the Aiden Ross stream, when you was in there cringy, you know what I'm talking about, Caillou. You, you was so fucking cringy, I just ended up watching my own videos some other time, and I was cringed out. I had third hand and second spectator mode embarrassment. I deleted the fucking video. Had a good amount of views, too. I don't give a damn. It had to get off my channel. It's a vibration. It's an energy signature that it holds, and it, and it can't. I might have to crop you out. I can't even edit, but I might have to figure it out. You will suffer of your father's doings. You know that sentiment in the Bible. I don't know the quote verbatim, but the sentiment is you will suffer of your father's doing. If he decide to go and fuck a bitch and you come out as the kid, you're going to be a, a cream star. You're, you're going to be just as cringy, if not worse. It's real. It should. Let's continue. From the gnome's <laughs> mouth. Sorry for the jump scare, by the way. And I hate to say it, but it actually seems like most of the general public, like the grand majority opinion, is that they want this guy Neon thrown behind bars. I mean, don't get me wrong, he has been annoying as f but to me, he's not nearly as bad as someone like Johnny Somali. But I guess even that situation had its own- Yo, I did not expect that. Hell nah, knock the straw hat off his head. With a one piece, this is crazy. Has been annoying as f but to me, he's not nearly as bad. I got tired of his ass. That is someone like Johnny Somali. <laughs> but I guess even that situation had its own way of working itself out. Here, Raiden Ross gives some more details on what's been going on with Neon. Just just, did you guys hear about Neon? Neon, no. It's a really crazy situation. In Dubai? I, yeah. did, I did see like a clip or something. Is he actually arrested? Uh, he can't leave the country right now and he has to figure something out. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. He was recording people. They're very big on cameras. Yeah, oh, you have yeah. to be very respectful yeah. in Dubai. I mean, come on. Um, and, you know, he's recording people. And uh, his camera was, yeah, it's... it's it, Is the cameraman in trouble too? Gotta be, right? Obviously. Yeah. see him just being sentenced to one year in prison. And... I don't think that's real. Here he would continue to expand on the situation. The situation with Neon, the only thing I'll say is, is sticky, bro. It's a very sticky situation. And it's not a script, bro. It's real life. It's just hard right now, man. People gotta stop talking about it. I can't, I'm not gonna speak on because I don't wanna make things worse. But, um, pray for Neon, man. He needs some prayers. That's all. Y'all gotta understand, bro. We never had real beef. Real beef is like street beef. But 
he's probably going through the craziest thing, the scariest thing he's ever gone through. It's real. It's not no script. It's real. It's it's real. It's real. I'm doing everything that I can do to try to help, but people around him made it really hard because there's clips like I'm not gonna say specifically who, but you guys can put two and two together. Someone around him mocked them pretty bad to where it's like they f it up. I'm not gonna lie based off what they said now i'm guessing right there the person he's talked about who apparently f this entire situation in dubai is the of girlfriend i do think i saw a clip of her like going around with maybe a hijab or a headscarf on i fuck with these fits though not how they the perceptionalization of them i don't even think that's a word it's going to be a word now because they creating words it's built off smaller things but scratch that i don't give a damn about what they doing but me and this fit it's tough. I look the best in it. I, even the, the originator, you ain't originate shit the first and foremost, but whoever, your culture, you think, y'all ain't, when I got this on, you ain't fucking with me. I don't care if you been doing it and your people been, I don't, you ain't fucking with me. I, you, you're the prototype. I'm the original. I'm God's man. I ain't regular, man. I ain't dumb. I just had to put that in there. Let's continue. And I know they really do not play around with that shit. I think they see it as almost like a mocking of their religion. Get right here. Are you excited for the boss? I am not religious though. Damn. Okay, Mia, Mia Khalif. I am not religious. I will never, ever again. And I got to show myself some leniency. My brain went fully developed into the age of 25 and being young and impressionable and indoctrinated with these ideologies and religion. I will never, ever, ever I'm talking about ever. You know the number eight that represent the serpent consuming itself, never a beginning, never an ending. I will never give my power to some external entity ever again, ever. I'm not religious. I understand the majority is dumb, deaf, or blind. Two of the three, one of the three, all three. I will argue most or all three. I say that to say if a billion dumbass is going this way, I'm going the other way and I'm going to be right and you're going to be wrong. And it's crazy. You may say that's crazy ego and some more, but it is what it is. I understand. I'm if the proof is in the pudding, these kids going missing annually, 800,000. They don't miss a beat. It's been like that before I was born, right? My kind, we're still paying bills to people that don't have a biological identification to the planet. These people in Dubai are richer than us, and we the, are we the, the people that have been on the planet that exceed their 8,000 years maximum. But yet, they somehow inhabit and own most of everything. But my, my, they ain't thinking like me. I know. They don't know. That in itself tell me. Somebody fucking stupid. Can we agree here? We're the only species that's paying rent to people that don't have a biological identification. Meaning they can't tell you where they come from. Hey, oh, I've been here. Oh, Jesus was this. Oh, this was... No. Bitch, y'all the aliens. You looking for the aliens and y'all some of them. It's more, but y'all the aliens. I get it. The things that you do, the fetishes you have that I don't understand. So therefore, I stand under it. I don't get it. It's alienistic. If that's even a word, now it's going to be a word once more. Like it's... <laughs> I hate to turn the video into something extra, but I'm extra. And I don't have all these different weird, confused, different species of animals, genealogy that consists of my genetic composition. Again full-fledged all 100 percent god you may have antigens on your blood due to what they forefathers did and it is relevant because they had kids and it's still in a bloodline of wanting to do that the victim as the victim still so everything is still prevalent everything is still relevant but yeah i'm not religious at all I'm going to give me my power. You're never going to feed off my power. You're never going to put fear in me to feed off of it. None of that. It's over with. I'm not them. I'm him. I ain't them. Let's continue. I mean, I remember there was a situation with corn star Mia Khalifa because when she would be performing in some of her films, obviously she has a bit of a Middle Eastern appearance and she would also be wearing the hijab. And so that resulted in her getting death threats. I think some sort of government wanted her to be arrested at some point. So if the situation is anything like that, yes, this could get really bad. Now, obviously people have been using this breaking news to spread misinformation. It's kind of why I didn't cover this story. <laughs> she was sucking dick with the hijab on Punjabi. How you feel about that? I put my log on her hijab Punjabi. <laughs> right off the bat because 
you couldn't really decipher <clears throat> what was real and what was not. Like this and other various clip pages who actually claimed that Neon passed away in a flood. I, think that. I mean, if you're baiting someone's death for Twitter clicks, you are one sick person. Yeah, that energy going to come back around to you. Slap, don't miss. I don't like this little ugly nigga. I don't even know him personally, but I know what he's projecting and how I perceive it. But you out there, it's a bunch of you that was in the comment section like, I hope he really died. And I just know that energy is coming right back to you. You saying that about somebody, you're going to wake up on your keyboard, get in the, hear news that your mom just that You're going to receive something like that for even putting this out there. Y'all just all think it's fun. It's thousands of you poop putts too. Something wrong with y'all. Like, yes, at the end of the day, this guy and his girlfriend, for that matter, are pretty much cancers to society. But from what I've seen, he didn't do anything. They had cancer to society. If they had cancer to, to society, then society is more cancerous to society. Nonetheless, they still a product of this construct. Again, I hate to turn the video into extra. It got to be, though, because it's relevant. Just because you ain't looking at the other surfaces and different perspectives, it's still relevant. Can't just say, oh, these degenerates. Who made a degenerate? Who made that? All the populace want to see the stupid shit, the consensus, and they drawn to it. It's all about design. It falls back on a construct that feed whatever the movies we watch, the media we see, the, the, the stupidity. And then people act the same way because they know this will get the attention, the clicks, the numbers, and convert that into money. And nigga, when you pointing at them, you pointing back at this construct. All this shit a joke here on, on earth, life in itself, in its totality. All this shit is a joke. It's an elaborate hoax. It's motherfuckers that, that's playing their roles. Some people picked up extra ships being the Agent Smith as well as the... They being the prisoner as well as the prison guard. For little to no money, they just suck in dick. Hoping they get a, a medal or something. Like All this shit a joke. Life is not serious, bro. It's, it's really not. It's about people, places, and things. You're going to go places. There's going to be people there with things. Stupid ass people. That's gonna be super doing their job and some old shit like and whole time the motherfucker that got your job description that got your shit patent somewhere got a little Caillou giving him fellatio right now, but yeah it may be illegal just in a but he get to get away with it cause he some of y'all gonna know what I'm talking about if you don't it ain't for you over there that would warrant his this should arrest. a joke though but Life i will is a continue joke. to update you guys in this situation but until then i do want to thank you for watching today's video dropping a like and subscribing okay that's it your life is a joke bro don't take this shit serious for do what you need to do and it's real though like people can impose they will on you especially if it's enough religious npcs and they feel you are and they want to bring out the judas cradle for you so it's like yeah be on your p's and q's if you got the money to do so Make sure you straight. Make sure you got plans, contingency plans on top of contingency plans. Be your own James Bond. Be competent and capable to where you don't need a third party. Fuck the middleman. Snipe his ass. You be the middleman to where you don't need nobody else to get in the middle of this shit. Because it will exploit you for what you don't know. This shit crazy. But at the same time, when it's all said and done, you pass on and thermodynamics and energy can't be created nor destroyed. Man, this all this shit is stupid. I'm just waiting for the aliens to pop out. The Gilgamesh is the... It's a it's a, a joke that's overstayed as welcome. That wasn't welcome to me to begin with. But yeah, I'm just tired of I really look at shit like this. Like, it's... All this shit a joke, bro. Your accolades, whatever. You all work 20 years plus to acquire all this, and you... That's a joke. It don't mean nothing. The medals you got, you can't take it with you or none of that. All this shit a joke. So know what matters. So it's really just the impact you put on people and you going within and all that. So it's that. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. Free Neon. Send his ass to boot camp or something. He don't need to be in there. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. Like how he gonna be if he run into a... I'll see you on the next one, man. I'm out.